Hi, this is Sharon Lim. I blog at SharonWithYou.blogspot.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today's video tutorial is going to show you how to make a lovely gift card holder that holds the card inside like this. I saw this online and uh, just figured out the measurements myself. I love a challenge, and I did it. So, regular card. And I used uh, the sending cheer dies that have a coordinating stamp set sending cheer. But I just used the present die here and then the bow. And I cut off the top of the present and put the, bo the bow on instead. So it looks like that. And then I used um, the stamp open me. And I used the lovely oval stitched um, die from the mini pocket envelope dies. So I keep these in the extra stamp set cases with some magnets in there. I also use the Christmas tidings um, embossing folder. So I love all the sayings on there. And that's the background of it here, here in the garden green. If you like to buy any of the items to make this card, you can, I'll link them below in the, in my blog. So for the card holder, you want a piece of cardstock or DSP. I use DSP. This is just for the template. Four by three quarters by six. And then I, I used my cutter to cut one and one fourth from both sides from two to three and a half. So those are cut right there. Do you see that? Then I turned it on my cutter and scored it at two, two and a half, and three and a half, only on the outside lines, outside the cut. So here, two, two and a half wrong way so two two and a half and three and a half and then i cut then i scored three inches right here in the middle inside the cut lines so if you want to stop and pause get a screenshot of those measurements i already made it with a piece of um dsp it's already scored so pretty simple you just want to fold the score lines here so mountain sorry valley mountain and then this one's going to be a valley you're kind of making a shelf if that makes any sense and then there so this is what you want it to look like so you can score them you can burnish them and this is what it looks like when it's all set isn't that cool and then I went ahead and put some tear and tape on here because I already made a second card that I'm just going to slip it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all the release paper off. It's a wonderful um, set, stamp set and bundle for gift card holders. Um, I, I know a lot of people like to give those, but it's always nice to make a gift card holder. So I do half of it this way. There you go. And what I want to do before I adhere it is I'm going to cut these just a little bit, maybe about three quarters of the way, but not completely. That's going to actually hold the card. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I only did half of it right here, and that's the bottom part. So I'm going to open up the card, fold it in half, and kind of center it, leaving a little space at the, for the fold. Then while I do hold that down, I'm going to go ahead and release... Remove all the release papers here. Let's see. Probably should break out my pick a tool. Just cut my fingernails. I think it's hard for me to get the release paper off. Two more. Last one. And then you go ahead and just fold the card over it and it'll just catch on the adhesive. And ta -da! And I love saving all the little fake little gift cards you get in the mail. I don't get them very often anymore, but I have a stack of them. And that's how it sits. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like more of these video tutorials, please like comment and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have many many more 
video tutorials on there. Thanks for letting me share this with you and have a great day. Bye.